was a sin of pride. Blinded by our ambition, we opened a door better left closed and loosed hell upon a star. Though 700 years have passed, to my lasting sorrow, the terror continues. It began anew when the shadow rings descended on the peaceful village of Ovenwood. Drove the defenseless villagers before them, save the ancient guardian of Edward Vargas and his grandson, Vex. Defined without number, Vargas and Vex could not stand against Yabu's dark power and were bound in chains with the others. They were forced to toil in the labyrinth of tunnels surrounding their village. Slaves. Beaten by word and whip, Vex endured until his rage became unbearable. He lashed out, attacking his oppressors, but was stopped by the very shadows that answered Yabu's call. Vex would have died then, were it not for the sacrifice of his grandfather. In rage, aged, Yabu turned his powers on Vargas and showed no mercy. After nightfall, Vowing revenge, Vex escaped the caves and made his way to the heart of Yabu's windship, intent upon destroying the wraith. Fate, however, however, would grant him not revenge, but fortune. The legendary Astani War Talons. Unable to destroy the powerful artifact, Dark Yabu had hidden them away for years, fearful that they might fall into enemy hands. as the Talons bound themselves to him forever, and his fate to that of all a star. Welcome to Timberdale, Vex. Scattered throughout.
Thank <laughs> you. 